Hey guys, welcome back. VDC Care here, and we're back with our weekly recap of all things Injustice. The current character challenge is the Joker Arkham Origins as it reads on the actual challenge screen, but I think of him as Arkham Origins Joker. Everybody does, I yeah. think. Yeah. Uh, so that's a one-week repeat. The required characters for that are Cyborg, Bane, and Wonder Woman, who are Bronze, Silver, and Silver, respectively. If you're looking at the lowest tier, you can get them directly from the store. Uh, the passive is Contagious Laughter, which is Joker's special attacks inflict poison gas. The damage from poison multiplies with every Arkham teammate. He's got 1,150 attack and 850 health, and he was the last available in April of 2020, so... Pretty recently. Yeah, really recently. Yeah, I mean, it just shows you how they jump around a lot, right? The challenge is not real, not a real pattern. Yeah, it's like half a year. Yeah. Um, I'd say he's got sort of middle class stats. It's more loaded into the attack. And when we go to the this week's uh, multiplayer challenge character, you'll see what we say sort of middle class. He's been clearly outstripped in stats. Um, poison is not my favorite damage over time. Yeah. Which is what he specializes in, but... Uh, a lot of damage over times, most damage over times have a secondary effect. Poisons is to reduce the opponent's damage by 20%. So that's good, but it's more of a defensive effect. I, I much prefer bleed where you boost your own damage by 20%. Yeah. And as long as you're not facing a Blackest Night Flash team that turns your d damage over time against you, it's actually pretty good. Yeah, I, I think the main problem is that you don't actually <clears throat> use damage over time on tanks, really. Right. Right. And th he's very much not a tank. Right. So the type of person that it would be useful with is also not the type of character that he is. Right. Um, good teammate would be any Arkham character or even Batman Returns Catwoman because she would boost his damage over time. He's especially good with Quake Engine. I mean, we use Quake Engine a lot on our damage over time people, but uh, what you, if you're using it on anybody except for Joker, you're not taking advantage of the fact that he can increase the. Uh, countdown clock for the other team to tag out mm -hmm. so what it means is they take more damage over time and you get a restart of damage over time too um yeah. and so if it weren't for arkham Knight catwoman i think we'd probably be using arkham origins joker more because of the same sort there's a bit of overlap right yeah where they both benefit from actually he benefits more because he's indiscriminate he can benefit from any arkham teammate she needs to have arkham knight teammates in order to boost her damage over time. Mm -hmm. So she makes a good special specialist. They're not... If you were going to really lean, in, lean into it and try to do both, the problem is Arkham Knight Catwoman does not benefit from having him on the team. So her damage over time doesn't get boosted the same way by him as her, his does by her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there we go. Uh, this week's multiplayer ward is, <coughs> as expected, uh, Flashpoint Aquaman. And his passive is Barrier Reef. Which is, during combat, Aquaman has a chance on combo enders to call the ocean to his aid. This drains all his opponent's power by 10%. And Flashpoint characters on Aquaman's team gain a water shield on tag end that reflects 40% of special damage back at the enemy. Once hit, the shield is used up until the next tag end. He's got 1350 attack and 1250 health. And he was last available in April of 2020. Right, Again. but not the same week as Arkham Origins Joker. Or Origins Joker. Yeah, so uh, next week we should be expecting to see the Heart of Darkness as our online multiplayer award. Right. Pattern's been uninterrupted since November 21st, 2019, so we're a few weeks away from a full year of a consistent routine in multiplayer. Mm -hmm. So this is the comparison, right? So his stats, he's got 200 more on the base attack and 400 more on the base health than Arkham Origins Joker. Mm -hmm. um, his passive is just okay. I don't think it's really game-changing to say that he's going to sometimes get, you know, something that happens not every time, combo ender, and sometimes he'll get um, a, a power drain. And the fl the water shield on Tagen, it's okay, 40% reflection, but it also means that you're taking more damage and it's a defensive sort of ability. Mm -hmm. the most important thing is that he's Flashpoint. So that means he takes advantage of Flashpoint Batman's team passive to boost his crit damage, and he is helpful to Flashpoint Deathstroke in boosting his passive. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's really it. Oh, so, and we, we've talked about this team as being 
the best uh, speed team for multiplayer. And we've got a demonstration of that in a video, and we'll link that in the description. Yeah, quite good. So this is a, an important multiplayer week to grab as many yeah. copies as you can yeah. earn. Oh, and I, the other thing, I guess, is that the way the class we would like to gear him is if he's on our team now, we've actually switched it up. We used to do it a little differently. Now we've got uh, Razagul Scimitar, uh, Claw of Horus, and uh, Quake Engine. We used to have Astro Harness on him, but we've realized that the Astro Harness is actually better on a Flashpoint Batman because he doesn't need a boost, on a thir third gear to boost his basic damage because he's just that good. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there we go. Uh, in the store, got a couple things. So first off, there's a bunch of discounted power credit packages. So if you're looking to buy power credits, I guess, it looks like you're getting like 50% off. Or more, you're getting 50% Or give or take. More. Yeah, you know you're Oh, sorry, 50% more credits. Yeah, yeah, yeah not 50% off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but you can get a little bit of a better deal on power credits. We also have the Rebirth Green Arrow Early Access Bundle for twenty six ninety nine Canadian, as always. Uh, so it's a clue to next week's challenge. Because it usually, like, 97% of the time or whatever, it's next week's challenge. Uh, but it's not worth it because it doesn't unlock it in your store. It does come with 100,000 power credits, but you're about to be able to earn them next week. So, yeah, right. you know. Um, and lately, I mean, we've had the Arkham Asylum pack 1, they call it. They have a 1. I, I'm dying to see when number 2 is coming out because 1 is the one that's not so good. Also, 2699, it's got Arkham Knight Batman on the outside of the package, but you don't actually get him. Mm -hmm. And you don't have a random chance at them either. You get three specific characters, Arkham Origins Batman, Arkham Origins Deathstroke, and Arkham Knight Harley Quinn. Or sorry, Arkham Harley Quinn, not Arkham Knight. And it's a decent team, but it's a shame that for what you're paying for, you're not getting a chance at the single, in my mind, the single best Arkham character mm -hmm. overall as a solo artist. I mean, you can make up better teams with uh, a specific combination, but as far as Arkham Knight Batman, that's sort of the... I think the most, um, is it valuable or the most, the one that everybody wants? Mm -hmm. Most desirable. That's so it. There we go. And also in the store, we have the Halloween bundle, which is still hanging around from last week. Uh, again, twenty five ninety nine Canadian. And you get a 2% chance each of, as last time, Black Knight Batman, Black Knight Doomsday, Black Knight Hawkgirl, Black Knight Superman, and Black Knight The Flash. And then a 90% chance for just gold character, as they've right, said. Right. So we mentioned it before. It seems like a real, real bad deal, actually. For the <laughs> amount of money it is, yeah. it would be reasonable to uh, get either like a random two yeah. of them, or like one of them and a gold character, or just a, one of them at random. Like there's so many other ways that you could have this that would still be just a mediocre deal, but as right. is, it seems like a really bad deal. Right, right. Uh, Phantoms, oh, uh, before Phantoms, we always go for the Survivor. Yeah. League of Assassins, one more week. Um, Phantom Zone back for two weeks. We've got bonus XP for three days, so for this weekend. Fight 62 is still broken. Last weekend's breakthrough was, as expected, Joker, Nightwing, Darkseid. So based on schedule... This weekend is going to be Zod, Aquaman, and Shazam. Uh, link in the description to Reddit thread from Devlin16 that goes over the complete breakthrough cycle, which has been very consistent. Mm -hmm. And that, I think that's it for the regular stuff. And moving on to current glitches. Uh, remember that every working glitch is explained in a video as part of the playlist that you can reach by clicking the I in the top right corner of this video. We are Android only, so we can only confirm these glitches for Android. But we do mention some glitches or some versions of the glitch that, that have been uh working for ios users that viewers have told us about mm -hmm. and although we can't test those yeah stuff. exactly yeah starting out with not working glitches there's currently nothing for power credits that we're willing to endorse on season six episode nine of our p and q and c and d and t linked in the description uh we talk about a glitch that does work for power credits and why we're not willing to endorse it but we don't need to say anything more about that here um, in terms of other stuff that you used to be able to do, but you can no longer do, the kind of stuff that people might be looking for. Uh, there is nothing for getting repeated past multiplayer season rewards. There's nothing for getting early multiplayer season rewards in a way that you want. Uh, there's nothing to get through the Phantom Zone quickly, although there is strategies, there's no glitches. Uh, and there's also no free energy uh, without having to watch the video, because the button's gone, so... And we would have actually... I was planning on having more another video on the Phantom Zone strategy... But mm -hmm. we lost all that footage, so Unfortunately. we have to go again and start again from scratch. Yeah. yeah. Moving on to the working glitches, the stuff that you actually care more about. Yeah. So the glitch let you play Phantom Zone repeatedly, still working. 
the challenge reset method that requires Google Play Cloud Save is also working. Confirm to the current Arkham Origins Joker challenge. Reminder that this is basically the same thing. So when you reset progress on one, you're resetting progress on the other. Mm -hmm. Keep that in mind when you're just planning what you're doing. Uh, if you're on Android 10, we are not on 9, so we, we are not. But if you're on Android 10 and having trouble because you need to re-download more than one gigabyte of data when you clear app data, there's a potential solution. Um, and we've cut and pasted a description of it from Tanime Cacte. It's basically uh, taking certain files, moving them somewhere else on your phone, and yeah. then instead of having to re-download them, you just move them back into the folder when you've done the glitch. Mm -hmm. So there we go. And we also have a comment in the description from Jonathan Yang on how to reset the challenge on an iOS device. And we've got nothing but positive feedback for that. So uh, we are operating under the impression that that definitely works for iOS. Right, right. Uh, breakthrough glitch let you play repeatedly still working. The airplane mode slash refund glitch is still working. Good for both packs with the random drops and uh, last laugh tickets. But it does not work in the Phantom Zone for us because it requires an Phantom Zone requires an online connection. Mm -hmm. And we've had reports from iOS users that it works. We've also had reports from Android users that it works, but we can't actually, we haven't been able to confirm that. It looks like it's working, actually, but when you look a bit more carefully at your resources, it, it hasn't. Yeah, we've never gotten good evidence of it being functional. Right, right. Mm -hmm. uh, time shifting still works in Android for unlimited survivor play and energy recharges, as always. Return your clock back to normal after you've gotten all this sort of time shifting goodies that you're trying to get uh, and before you let it sit and just keep playing as usual. And last but not least, in between not working and working glitches, the promotion glitch where you can promote characters that are still locked hasn't had the right conditions since update 2.14. So it's not testable, it's not usable, but it's never technically failed. So we keep it in the list just in case. Uh, I, I don't know what our hope is. I don't even think it's ever going to come up again, but I sort of hope somewhere in the back of my mind that one day... Uh, like the chosen date uh, <laughs> will come around and we'll finally be able to do it again. And it'll yeah. be like the confluence of the spheres or some sort of like special event where we're for a brief moment given back this glitch. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, it's, it's hardly relevant now because we've had so much time to promote everybody anyways. Yeah. yeah. So that's everything for this week. As always, we'd like to finish off our videos by thanking everybody who is supporting us on Patreon. So that's a huge thank you to Consul Peasant and Ed Woon, who are supporting us at the top tier last word, Mohammed Al Shady at the Your Message Here tier, Sean Farrell, Daniel Simonson, Aaron Mall, Michael DeVries, Brandon C, Irvin Ruiz, and Eddie Du, who are supporting us on the credited level, uh, Chris Wolf, Scarlet Danny, Awesome Gamer 241, Pavu RS, and Gavin Malot at the gratitude level. Thank you so much for your support, and we'll see you next time. Komoda! Komoda.